Hi, David at Presence Videography. Our next kayaking adventure takes Karen and I to Banks Lake and Steamboat Rock in central Washington, about three hours east of Seattle. It's a beautiful, unique desert kayaking experience. Let's jump in. We start at the boat ramp at the Steamboat Rock State Park and paddle around Steamboat Rock, which is a beautiful 800 foot high desert butte in the middle of Banks Lake, which is crystal clear and cool water, great for swimming. We then paddle from Steamboat Rock to a beach and a beautiful spot we named Eden for a rest stop and a picnic lunch. We then return along the North Shore Banks Lake, exploring the unique desert shore and stopping at a tombola before heading back to the pullout point in the state park. The boat launch at Steamboat Rock State Park was quiet when we arrived at 9.45 a.m. on this beautiful sunny Sunday morning in July. There was also plenty of parking, just remember your Discover Pass. There were only very light winds of one or two knots, so plenty of swimming was in order to cool off. This trip is in 4K ultra high definition, so make sure you have your viewing settings set to 4K to see the best quality. It was so warm that even at this time of the morning, it was great to take a swim to cool off before starting our kayak trip. The beaches had beautiful sandy bottoms and the water was clear, so it was really nice for swimming. In the first part of our trip, we put in at the launch in the Steamboat Rock State Park, which is on the south side of Steamboat Rock and we then paddled around the east shore of Steamboat Rock all the way to its north side. Beautiful sandy beaches, sandy rippled bottoms of the lake, and also the stunning desert scenery around the lake really stood out. We paddled by a lot of beautiful picnic areas around the beaches of Steamboat Rock State Park, some of these only accessible by boat or hiking trails. I am loving the sand. <laughs> yeah, isn't it nice? Nick is As we paddled further around Steamboat Rock, the steep sides really stood out. Look at the impressive clarity of the water. Banks Lake is like a big swimming pool. Little bit of boat traffic and small waves going through the channel here, but nothing major. Just coming around the corner here, we can start to see Steamboat Rock on the left. This is an 800 foot high desert butte in the middle of Banks Lake. So cool.
You can really appreciate the 800 foot high cliffs of Steamboat Rock from here. As we got further away from the day use area of the Steamboat Rock State Park, it got progressively more tranquil. This really shows the super steep drop off from the beach into the depths of Banks Lake. And here are the very dramatic 800 foot high cliffs above the lake. Washington State is just such an incredible place for kayaking. To have the stunning desert scenery and a beautiful lake like this, and then just two hours away the Cascade Mountain Lakes which offer world class mountain lake kayaking. And then just four hours away, the San Juan Islands, which offer world-class sea kayaking around islands. Here you can see our Tombolo, Eden, and beach destinations across the channel. The water was so clear you could see boulders that had fallen off Steamboat Rock and rolled down the slope into Banks Lake. Steamboat Rock is made of columnar basalt rock, and you can really see it in this piece that's at the water's edge.
We so enjoyed this trip. It was just such a unique and beautiful experience. In part two, we paddled north across the channel to a beautiful little beach and a rest stop we called Eden. Shall we aim for those dune beaches over there? I was thinking this rocky outcrop right there and then okay. go the trees. The yeah, those trees. Those okay. Trees. Yeah, let's do it. Let's stay together. We gotta go together. Yep. To be more visible. Beautiful eagles spotted as we approached the beach in a lone tree on a rocky outcrop. <laughs> I surprised those ones. <laughs> And finally we arrived at the beach for a rest stop. I had to change out some camera batteries while Karen scouted ahead. Another eagle perched in the tree above the beach. That's a really good sign that there's fish around. Banks Lake is 27 miles long and very popular with anglers. Smallmouth bass and walleye are the most popular species, but the lake also has lake whitefish, panfish, rainbow trout, and kokanee. Spotted a nice campsite on the other side of the beach under the trees. We were just doing a day trip this time, but maybe next time we'll go overnight. Okay, Karen just called me on the walkie-talkie, and in scouting ahead she found a beautiful little place just a few hundred feet from the beach, so I'm heading over there now. On the way over, I noticed these sandy banks had some interesting holes. Perhaps some kind of bird nest. Probably some kind of bank swallow.
What a beautiful spot. Nice little sandy beach to pull up on. Nice spot. Crystal clear water for a swim. Nice rock to swim off of. Beautiful view across the channel of Steamboat Rock. We love exploring with kayaking and finding beautiful remote spots like this. Beautiful area, shaded by trees and uh, some of the trees have little nests in them. You can see up there, not sure the kind. Cool and sandy. It's about 65 degrees. Wow. After cooling off, we enjoyed the view while we had a picnic lunch in the shade. After lunch, we set out on a short paddle to our next stop at the Tombola. Okay, that's a weird word. It means bar of sand joining an island to the mainland. In the next bay over from Eden, we found the most interesting hole-in-the-wall feature. I had to go around to check it out from the other side. So unusual, like a mini arch type feature. And from Karen's perspective, looks like it almost goes all the way through. Perhaps if the lake was a little bit more full, we may be able to paddle right through. They really are. And it's really shallow. They feel to hang out there and they're just standing up in the water. Yeah. I swear we could be in the Baja, you know, peninsula of Mexico. <laughs> As we wound our way along the shoreline towards Tombolo, we passed many little rocky islands and inlets that were fun to explore. As we rounded the next corner, you could see Tom Bolo in the saddle there. Look at the exceptional clarity of the water here. I 
I think that behind that boat over there, I think that's an island because I saw them come through like a Yes. Um, and then there is See, those guys are kayak camping there, okay? Yeah. Wow. I guess not. You, you might be able to portage. Should we go have a look? This looks like a good camping spot. Pulling up at the Tombolo here to take a closer look. Beautiful sandy beaches for swimming. Nice flat section at the top here to put a tent. This is another one of those special remote places that when we find it, we're reminded of why we love kayaking so much. The next part of our trip takes us from Tombolo, across the channel, back to Steamboat Rock State Park boat launch for pullout of our kayaks. We started off by paddling around the steep rock of an island at the end of Tombola. And here we're seeing the Tombolo from the south side. Beautiful. We'll have to visit this spot again sometime soon. Still so much to explore here but we decided at this point to save the rest for our next trip and then head back together across the channel. We try to stick close together when crossing the channel to make ourselves more visible to passing boats.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this trip, we'd love your support if you want to give us a thumbs up. We've done many kayaking trips around the Pacific Northwest, from remote lakes in the Cascade Mountains, to sea kayaking around the San Juan Islands, and paddling around Seattle, Bellevue, Kirkland, and Vancouver. Check out our channel for the videos of those trips. We're always seeking new adventures, and we'll continue to post videos. Be sure to subscribe and you'll be notified as we release new videos. Kayaking is fun in a group. If you have any family or friends that would be interested in this video, we'd love you to share it with them. Arriving back at the boat launch, we see the same little beach on the side that makes for a perfect pull-out point. Such an amazing trip. If you're used to mountain lake or sea kayaking, I highly recommend this. It's just such a unique experience to paddle in a beautiful lake like this with dramatic desert scenery all around. If you have any questions, comments, or updates, we welcome you to share them in the comments section of this video. Thanks and happy kayaking. Bye for now. Okay, if you do this trip, you have to go to the concession stand. They make the best espresso milkshakes I've ever had. Great way to end our trip, under the shady trees near the beach. <laughs>